Christmas tree will cost you more green this season. There is a shortage leading to higher prices. Kimberly Davis spent time with one farmer to find out what's behind that tree shortage. It's the most wonderful time of the year, especially if you're a Christmas tree farmer. This is not a real tree. This is a fake tree. No, it's not. I put a couple fake trees out there just to play with people's minds. Are you serious? No. Oh. One time. Oh, right. Not only is Bob Calavita a jokester, but he also happens to be the owner of Calavita Christmas Tree Farm in Yardley, Pennsylvania. In 2018, we had 100 inches of rain. 2019, a little less than that. They, they like a balance. They like it, you know, not too wet, not too, not too dry, just right. Though the weather conditions have been ideal for Christmas trees this year, there is a shortage of larger Christmas trees. And if you wait too long, you may be stuck with a small tree. Most people have an eight-foot ceiling in their home. So, yes, uh, the last couple years we have run out. There has been some concern surrounding live Christmas trees with the threat of spotted lanternflies in our area. We haven't seen any on our, on our trees, any trees that we bring in. There aren't any. The Yardley Christmas Tree Farm has 34 different different types of trees, and this fir, native to New Mexico, happens to smell like citrus. Break it, break it smell it. This is good stuff. <laughs> Whether you decide to purchase a Turkish fir or a Colorado blue spruce, do it sooner rather than later. Due to the Christmas tree shortage, prices are a little higher this year. We're told a Christmas tree will cost you about $5 more. Reporting in Bucks County, I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. How about Bob? He's up. Okay, That's okay. Well, close call on the tracks. Commuters rush to save a man who fell.